Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Miranda, I'm 22. I'm married to my high school sweetheart and we have two daughters named Arabella who is three and Mary who is two. So today I just thought I would tell you guys about my birth stories for the girls and they're kind of crazy and a bit graphic so just warning you. Arabella was due on April 2nd, 2018, but was born on March 26, 2018. Um, my water actually broke on the 24th. Um, my mom was coming to visit that night before she went to work, but she didn't go to work because we went to the hospital. And they gave me the option whether to stay and get induced or just go home and come back 24 hours later, but I chose to stay and get induced. The first nurse actually messed up the induction process because she sped up the medication too fast. So I guess my uterus wasn't like fully contracting. It was having like seizures. So the next morning, the new nurse had to come and start it all over again. So I was in labor with her for 38 hours. At first, the contractions were pain-free, like no pain at all, but as soon as I got to four centimeters, I got the epidural because it was hurting and I was tired. I wanted to rest. Also found out that I am allergic to morphine while I was in labor. Um, but with Arabella, as soon as I got to 10 centimeters, I pushed with her. I tried. Um, so I pushed for three hours, but her head was facing my thigh instead of the ground and three different doctors tried to turn her. After the third try, it wasn't really working out, and they tried the vacuum, um, but that didn't work either. It did put a big bruise on her head though, um, so they actually had to push her back up, and I had to get a C-section, but when they told me I was getting a C-section, I was so scared, and I cried, and I vomited. Like, it was terrifying. Bobby actually wasn't allowed in the operating room when I was getting my C-section with Arabella because my body didn't take to the spinal, so I had to be put out for my C-section with her. And I don't really remember the first day she was born because I had so many like medications and stuff, but I do remember obviously like some and the first time I held her, it was awesome. Mary was due on July 5th, 2019, but was born on June 27th, 2019. And she was born um, in the early morning because that night I was taking a bath and Bobby's like, your stomach's contracting. So I went and laid in bed and I was like, she's not moving. So he's like, okay, well, let's go to the hospital, get things checked out. And it's a good thing I did. When we got to the hospital, we actually discovered that I had no amniotic fluid. Um, and her heart rate, which was usually in like the 130s, 140s, was in the 90s. So again, I had to have an emergency C-section. Um, but Bobby actually got to be in the room that time because my body actually took to the spinal. Um, and... I, it's, these sections, they feel like a really bad, like, tummy ache. Like, you can feel, like, pressure and stuff. That's kind of, like, a summary of my birth stories. I didn't get into, like, full detail about them. Um, but thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment them.